Other observers thought continents may have been joined based on which observations? Letter A, earthquakes. Letter B, magnetism. Letter C, volcanoes. Or letter D, coastline. The correct answer is letter D. Early observers thought that the continents might have been joined based on the observation that their coastlines fit together. They noticed how the continents resembled pieces of a jigsaw puzzle. For example, how South America coasts correctly lined up with the coast of Northwest Africa. A German scientist, Alfred Wegener, was the first to hypothesize that Letter A, the sea floor is spreading. Letter B, the continents were once joined. Letter C, the lithosphere is broken into plates. Or Letter D, the Earth's magnetic fields have reversed. The correct answer is letter B. Alfred Wegener proposed that the continents were once united into a single supercontinent named Pangaea. He suggested that the Pangaea broke up long ago and that the continents then moved to their current positions. He called his hypothesis continental drift. Evidence used by Wegener to support his idea of continental drift included letter A, magnetic patterns on the ocean floor, letter B, ocean floor topography, letter C, locations of volcanoes, or letter D, climatic data. The correct answer is letter D. Evidence used by Wagner to support his idea of continental drift included paleoclimatic evidence. Examples Climatic evidence shows glaciers once existed in normally very warm areas in southern Africa, India, Australia, and Arabia. Wagner also found similar evidence when he discovered tropical plant fossils in the frozen region of the Arctic Circle. These climatic anomalies can be explained if the positions of the continents have changed. He was the first to propose the continental drift theory. Letter A. Harry Hess B. Arthur Holmes C. Alfred Wegener or letter D. Drummond Matthews. The correct answer is letter C. Alfred Wegener. Alfred Wegener was a German climatologist and he was the first to propose the continental drift theory. How did geologists in the scientific community react to Wegener's claims at first? Letter A, they supported him and helped him search for evidence. B, they rejected his ideas and attacked his character. Letter C, they accepted his ideas with open minds. Or letter D, there was no reaction to his ideas. The correct answer is letter B. They rejected his ideas and even attacked his character. Most geologists dismissed his theory as a fairy tale. 
What three pieces of evidence led to the continental drift theory? Letter A, rock formation, fossils, and climatic data. Letter B, climatic data, fossils, and age of ocean floor. Letter C, polymagnetic data, fossils, and volcanoes. Letter D, fossils, location of volcanoes and earthquakes. The correct answer is letter A, rock formation, fossils, and climatic data. Similar rock types on opposite sides of the Atlantic Ocean. The same types of fossils are found on continents separated by vast oceans. And glacial deposits in normally warmer areas. The theory of continental drift Letter A states that continents stand still but can't explain why. Letter B only provides an explanation for why the continents are moving. Letter C states that continents are constantly moving and provides an explanation of how and why. Or letter D provides evidence that continents are moving but cannot explain what causes the movement. The correct answer is letter D. The theory of continental drift provides evidences that continents are moving, but cannot explain what causes the movement. And it was the weakness of this theory. Alfred couldn't provide a plausible explanation about the causes of the movement of the continents that other scientists dismiss his theory. Pangaea was an ancient supercontinent made up of letter A, South Africa, India, Australia, and South America letter B, America, Greenland, and Europe letter C, Antarctica, India, and America or letter D, all of the Earth's continents The correct answer is letter D, all of the Earth's continents. The existence of coal beds in Antarctica indicates that the continent once had letter A, been part of Africa, letter B, a cold dry climate, C, a temperate rainy climate, or letter D, been farther from the equator. The correct answer is letter C. Coal beds in Antarctica are proof that at one time, the continent of Antarctica was much warmer and contained huge quantities of plant matter. Wegener suggested that coal beds discovered in this continent indicated that Antarctica was once near the equator where it could have temperate and rainy climate. The continental drift hypothesis was not accepted by the scientific community because letter A, fossil records helped to disprove the hypothesis. Letter B, glacial evidence were found along hot equatorial regions. Letter C, there were not enough geological evidence found across continents. Or letter D, Wegener could not provide a plausible mechanism explaining how continents drifted. The correct answer is letter D. At the time, the initial continental drift hypothesis was rejected because Wegener could not provide a plausible mechanism capable of moving the continents. 
But this scientific idea of Wagner that was initially ridiculed paved the way for the theory of plate tectonics, which explained how Earth's continents move. Unfortunately, Wagner never lived to see his theory accepted. He died at the age of 50 while on an expedition in Greenland.